What is up guys? Welcome to my first video and this is going to be the unboxing of the Traxxas slash two-wheel drive. Beautiful box. First off, off the bat, first thing you see when you walk into the store, you're gonna see different colors. They might not have them all, but this is the one I chose. Looks really cool. Definitely check these out. This video is going to cover everything you need to know about this truck. All right, let's get it started. So this one comes with a battery and a charger, but I would recommend getting this Traxxas Easy Peak Live Plus 4 amp nickel metal battery LiPo fast charger. Recognizes your batteries, uh, fast charging, you don't have to deal with plugging your charger into your car every single day. And it's only 50 bucks. So definitely check that out as well. So I already took my truck out of the box, but that's because I wanted to get the experience. I've been using this truck for two days now and it's amazing. So slide that out of the way, get our truck over here. And here's the beautiful beast right there. Got great suspension, oil filled, um, 30 miles plus with the optional gearing, which I will show you right now. Here's all the extra parts. All right, so here's the gearing. You probably have to watch a different video to get that installed. It's kind of complicated. It comes with your simple tools, everything you'll need just to get started, but I recommend getting the toolbox. Warranty, fill that out just in case you break your truck. Um, it does not come with the flags. I made those myself. Take those on out of there. All right, so this you're going to need to attach your blue antenna up here. I had to put some tape right there because the little black tip wouldn't want to stay on. So that's something to keep in mind. Definitely read all these tags, all the tags inside of your truck. When you get your truck, read all of those. They're very important, especially if you're new to the hobby. Um, extra clips, everything, they're all spilling out on me, sorry. But those are extra parts, just common things in the truck that you'll need. Um, so, it does come with the battery, which I will show you right now. Right here. Seven cell nickel metal battery. 3000 milliamp. It is an ID, so when you get that charger, once you plug it in, it'll automatically put it to the right settings for charging and you just don't have to worry about it that much. Definitely still be safe with your batteries. All right, here's just a bunch of extra stuff. The manual, always read your manual when you get new trucks. All right, now let's get to this bad boy right here. So mine's a little bit dirty because I've been using it. Let's go ahead and pop off the body, little clips. Go ahead and take those off. Sorry if that's my dog whining. All right, back here you got your 12T Titan motor. Uh, so far I've had no issues with that. Very fast. Oil filled suspension. Very good. The ESC, your servo, controls the steering, metal axles right there, bumper. This is space in case you like crash into a wall or something. Definitely don't go around crashing your truck into a wall. That's just there for safety. Over here, you have your transmission right there. Rear bumper. And this connects the servo, ESC, the motor, and this is your receiver box for your remote control. 
that comes with your truck. It does not come with batteries. The receiver, you need four AA batteries. Here it is right here. So install your batteries right here in the bottom. And then I'm gonna show you how to turn on your truck when you first get it. Because it might be confusing in the manual if you don't want to read that too much, I'm going to tell you how to easily get started. Definitely um, charge your battery before using your truck when it's brand new because it only comes 50% charged. So you're going to need to charge that up for the full experience. So you go ahead and slide this in here. And you want to take your connector clip right here. This one. Make sure the bottom lines up right there with that. You're gonna take it and plug it in, just like that. Not too much pressure, just a little bit. Put it onto there. And then always, first thing you wanna do is turn on your receiver. So you gotta turn this on. It'll flash a little light right there. And then you hold this button down like that. And your truck's on. There are some steps you need to do if this is your first time getting your truck. You will need to read the manual a little bit, but there's the steering, got some power to it. And for me, the batteries lasted about maybe 40 minutes or so. I don't go too fast, but the battery lasts a long time. This motor right here, 25 bucks to replace, so it's not that much. Batteries, $35 on Amazon. And yeah, so everything's pretty cheap. Definitely upgrade this part, your steering servo. You're gonna need to upgrade that. Depends on how you drive your truck or use it. Um, push like that, go forward. In the middle, it's in neutral. And to put the brakes on, you release throttle, let it go in neutral push forward and go in reverse not too much don't want to ruin your engine or your tires and let's put the body back on careful with the antenna yeah i'm still getting used to this pop that back on just like that beautiful truck nice little flag right there, nice detailing on the back, bumper, Traxxas logo, little window, that's the hood of the truck, nice little details on the windows, but yeah, it's got great suspension, um, you might want to get that adjusted for certain driving conditions, but other than that, this is a great starter truck if you're just getting into the hobby. I got it from Pedals Bicycle Shop here in Riverside, 230 bucks, um, plus tax, it's 250, but it comes with that charger, the battery, but you will need to buy this separately if you're looking for a better experience with your charger because the charger it came with, it only lasted me about two days and it gave out on me. So definitely get that charger if you're getting this truck. Include that into your price. So let's put the clips back on, just like so. And I'm gonna take it outside and I'm gonna show you what this little guy does. Sorry, I'll let you out. I'll let you out. It's my dog. He loves chasing this, but definitely keep animals away from this truck when you're using it because it could hurt them a little bit. So let's go ahead, take this truck out. I'll be right back to grab you guys.
Sorry about the wig. Let's go take this puppy outside. Slot car track, Carrera. I'll do a review on that later. But there's the truck next to my dog. Little puppy dog. Set up the tripod, like so. He loves chasing it. My favorite thing in this is doing some wheelies and donuts. It can't do wheelies, but it can do donuts. This is a very fast vehicle. Great suspension. Go over little rocks like that. My dog's loving it, having a great time. But yeah, this thing is really fast on pavement. Um, I don't think you should install the second gearing. It's not really reasonable, you don't really need it. But if you want to, that's definitely an option you have. But I'm doing just fine with this gearing. And there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry about the bad audio and my dog barking top of his lungs. Peace out. See you guys later. And if you have any more questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. And I will answer them. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.